This is Shadow's Edge. Let me show you around a bit and show you how Shadow's Edge can help you take charge of your mental health. If you're feeling stressed, anxious, or maybe low or depressed. As you enter Shadow's Edge, you see that it is a hit city that has been hit by a storm. You meet the guardian called Tai. We'll interact with him later. And Tai will tell you that the storm happened and time froze and you can see that everything is still out of whack and flying around. Much like when something disrupted your life. And this is the phase of disruption. As you start moving around and explore the city, you have three quests. One is to find the pages of a missing journal. The second one is to find mini wisdoms. And the third one is to make the city pretty again by leveling up. And you do that by painting, writing, and finding these wisdoms. So as you can see, there are three levels in the game. Let's teleport to another part of town so that I can show you a little bit about finding the pages. We've had to find some pages in this demo just to be able to get along, of course, and to be able to level up far enough. And so we'll go and explore this area because I know that there is a page still stuck here. There we go. So this is one of the questions as an example. As you collect it, you click on it and it goes into your backpack. So you can always call, call it up later. To answer it, you simply type into it and you can still edit this. You can also talk into it and then you click add your journal. You can always come back later and edit it. So don't worry too much about what you're writing. As you see your work on yourself and answering these questions will actually have a direct impact on the world as some dust now appeared and also a creature showed up and some lights went on in the window. So everything that you do has an impact on the world. The second thing, as we said, is that you spray paint. As you start writing and painting, you get to level up. So let me show you the second level. Disruption is when just something has just happened and sort of how you deal with that phase. The second level is called disillusionment. This is when it feels like you've been stuck here forever. You don't know back and forth. Sometimes you feel okay and sometimes you don't feel okay. And this is exactly what the next character Maisie is going through. Maisie will tell you a little bit about her family, about the background, more details about the city, but also what it's like to be stuck in disillusionment and how that feels. As you may have seen, there's these billboards around town. This is where we post certain things like, for example, this is Mental Health Month and where we let you know some cool details and info as, they, as it comes up. You can see here that there's some stuff painted. I'll show you in a bit how to do that. But I first wanted to show you how much impact you can have here in this world when you are in disillusionment. You can see here that really the, the weather has started to change, scaffolding has started to show up, plants have grown, and also lights and everything have gone on in, in the window. The journal page that I collected will be in my journal book. If I scroll down, I can see which of the pages I have found and also what are the ones that I'm still looking for. And I can see if, for example, on the page that we found, there is still something to collect it as a reward. So in this case, we've unlocked the stencil to create some art. So let me show you how to paint some art. Let's go to a different area of the city again so I can show you around a little bit. And then I will show you how to paint. While writing is really good to clear your head, to really reflect on things that are going that you are going through, art can also help in situations where you feel stressed or where you feel low. For one, it can help you calm, feel calm, and it can also help you take your mind off things. Plus, when you're doing things like painting, you can also get some structure into what you're doing and it's really creative, so you're using different parts of your brain. All of that has a positive effect on your mental health as you, as you start doing that and as you start thinking about what you're creating and creating it. So as you can see, it's quite simple. You just move around basically to where you want to paint. You tap on the spray can, you pick a color, and then as you've seen, I've done a bit of a background, but I can also pick different nozzles to get special effect, for example, or if I just wanted to create the normal one, then I can take stencils and I can actually start filling in things and using those to create art. It's amazing what you can do with stencils. 
We also have some stickers in the game. And same with the stencils and with the stickers and with the journal pages. The further ahead in the game that you are, the more of those you unlock. You just simply click on them and then with two fingers, you just move them around where you want them and then basically place them. You can do more detailed work, less detailed work. There's a whole lot of stuff to explore here. You can add some text to it as well. And again, you can type it in or you can speak it in. You can change the fonts, for example, and then you can simply tag it just like you did the others. Let's take a different color on this one. Um, and then you just spray paint it in. You can still play with the special effects if you want it to and spray it in that way. You can do different types of colors. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that you can try out. As we start moving around the city, you can see some of the paintings that we've already created here. Some of them are quite simple and then some of them are a little bit more complex, just to show you a little bit of the different things that could be done with this. The combination of painting and writing is actually also really heartening because some of the things that you may be able to express in words, but then there's other things that potentially you don't and that you can use art for, or you can use the art and, and, and have it show up in your journal. Look out for the pigeons. The pigeons will give you tips and tricks and exercises that have to do with mindfulness. Those are things that can actually help you when you're feeling a certain way. Like there's pigeons that talk about stress. There's pigeons that talk about things like uh, calming your mind. There's pigeons that talk about depression. And so there's a whole bunch of those around. And as you tap on them, you actually collect them. And again, they go into your journal. So in your journal, you just simply click on wisdoms and then you can see that there's a whole bunch that I've already found. And then obviously there is a lot that I haven't found yet either. So all of that, the journal pages and the wisdoms can be found here. And if you really sometimes just want to vent, well, then just use a blank page. Trust me, it is endless. So you can keep on writing if you want. That's your own personal diary. Your diary is not shared with anybody else, but if you level up far enough in the game, which I will show you how to do here, as we move to the next phase, I can show you that you can actually share some of the things that you do with other people. So let's go up to the next level. This is discovery. Discovery is a phase where you start incorporating whatever has happened into your life and really think about, you know, what now? What do I want? Where do I go? And you can see that all of these areas here as well, they have a meaning. And let me bring you to a different area again to show you a little bit. Um, and you can see now that the world has changed quite a lot. So everything is more light, the weather has changed, everything is overgrown. But things are still here because whatever happens to you and whatever happens in your life, you carry all of that with you. But you can make it beautiful and meaningful again by interacting with it and actually making a change. In this place, for example, we found the page and you can see that the sunflower has grown and that there's butterflies now. Every phase will have different creatures and different uh, things coming back. Scaffolding will show up, the music will change. And also you can see that you can go much further up in, in each of the different levels. So let me show you one cool little feature. Once you are leveled up enough, you get these missions that you can work on and these missions also will, will give you rewards uh, but also the thing that you unlock over time is called shadowgram shadowgram is like an instagram in the game and this is where you can share your art with others you can actually favorite others you can also just say i love this you can give certain canned comments and if you wanted to do this, so you simply go to a place that you wanted to take a picture of, uh, you go into Shadowgram, and then you click the plus, and then you can take a picture of the world. Whatever you've painted, for example, you can move stuff around a little bit, have to get some perspective, you can add filters if you wanted. You can even, if you then take the picture, you can still add stickers. And you can add some information, you can type in. Now, I'm not gonna do this at the moment because I don't want that art to show up in other people's feeds because it doesn't really look fantastic and to have just an empty thing, right? But here's some of the stuff that other players have made. Some of them can be quite quite simple. And a lot of our players really use this just to, to vent, as you can see here with this. If somebody does that, then 
you know, we can help them a little bit by giving them a hug, for example. If you see something that you really, really, really like, you can favorite it. Those favorites will actually show up here, like this one, for example. That will now show up in my favorites feed if I click on here. So you can see that these are all the ones that I have liked that I have collected. And I can obviously load more and this list will go on quite endlessly uh, by just clicking more and more and more. I can also share this. So this is something that when you post, you just have to be aware of that other people can share this on their Instagram, on their feeds. They can save it, your own art, but also other people's art. Not the journal, not your own personal world, just the art that is shared in, within Shadowgram. And we run frequent challenges in Shadowgram as well. So currently, for example, we're running a COVID uh, challenge where we ask people to paint something specific on a billboard. And then once you share that on Shadowgram, you actually get a reward. You may have seen before that when I clicked on the picture, it said, did you want to use this picture for the photo hunt? That's what this is. So the game is a combination of writing, venting through art, and really being able to share and communicate with others. And that's part of what really makes you grow, because the more you incorporate what is happening into your life, and the more you tell your story, you tell it a little bit differently. And as you do that, even without you really realizing that, you start to grow and you start to gain more perspective on your overall life. Just like here, where I can see almost every part of the city. So imagine I had now worked on myself and actually painted a lot on the billboards in the back. How pretty would that be in this demo? So that was pretty much it for Shadow's Edge. There is of course a conclusion as well, and so the game can end and the people would, would come back. But I'm not gonna tell you too much detail about that, because of course, you know, it would be great if you would just play the game uh, through and see for yourself what that does. You can also find a lot of things out through the storyline and through the Guardian. So we're excited to hear your feedback and see how this game can help you and what, what you have done in the game and see you pop up on Shadowgram. Thank you very much for listening and see you soon.